Hi friends, Mindy here. I have an unboxing for you. This is the newest kit from By the Will for God. It's called Pleasing in His Sight. Today is Monday, uh, February 21st, and this kit is going on pre-sale today. Uh, somehow my post office was just really on the ball, so I actually have my kit here to show you. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of the things uh, that come in the kit and some extra goodies that you can get that coordinate and then some other things that I picked up from the shop as well. And I apologize for the lighting, it's really rainy here today, so um, it's just, I have my lights on, but I think it still seems a little bit dark. But with every kit, with every order that you place from By the Welfare Guide, you always get a, um, a little goodie bag, and there's kind of a sneak as to what's in it. Um, one of the things that's always on here too is the um, the hashtag for the kit. So make sure that you follow this this hashtag if you want to see what other people are up to or get some ideas um, and then make sure that you use it when you post so that we can follow along and see what you're doing as well there's always a sneak of next month's kit in there as well but I'm going to just leave that as a surprise because it's like a little present on Christmas morning when you when you open your your um, your package so as always the kit comes in this canvas drawstring bag I'm going to pull everything out here and um, I'm going to start with the most important part and that is the devotional this one was written by Judy I I saw Lori do the unboxing for this um, Sunday and I can honestly tell you this kit is more beautiful in person I, I don't know how that's possible but um, it was beautiful when she was doing the unboxing but today when I opened it up I'm just this watercolor effect it's this kit is just beautiful but this is talking about being pleasing in his sight and um, again this one was this devotional is written by Judy it's a 14 day devotional the way that by the will for God um, has designed it is basically so that you can do all of your reading and studying on one day and then kind of journaling your responses or whatever on another day and that will take you through an entire month doing it that way I know there are lots of us that do it um, a little bit differently but that is kind of the intent when it you know in the way that it's written and these devotionals are always so so good so um, that is the devotional and then um, I'm gonna pull out I'll just start at the top that'll be easier so you also get uh, two bow clips there's actually a little uh, reel on Instagram you can see how Lori and the team make these a lot of love goes into them and then this is on a little scripture card and these always coordinate with the kit and then I'm going to do the ephemera last I think you also get a watercolor dot card there's seven colors this time these are Daniel Smith watercolors so a little bit goes a long way and Lori was mentioning that um, they used kind of really washed out colors um, of these uh, vibrant colors so you really want to add a lot of water and one of the things that I personally like to do is I will just use like clear packaging um, like this or even a stamp block and um, I'll mix my colors or whatever on that and then I just save that packaging through the whole month because you can always reactivate watercolor and um, and that way you're not mixing like right onto your your card a little bit goes a long way and that just helps to make your watercolors last even longer there's plenty on here uh, some of my favorite ones actually are in this one so um, there's also a kit sticker this is just a, a white sticker it's not a vinyl sticker um, I like to put these if I make journals I put them on there some people put them in their Bibles there's a lot of things that you can do with those there's also a little flare button oops upside down this one says pleasing in his sight and then the stamps for this kit. I love these glasses. I, I have some ideas for these glasses. I can't wait to um, to use those. And then I love how the little Polaroids, the girls are kind of popping out of them. And then there's a little set of friends down here at the bottom. You can kind of see how they've done this on the back. And these always come in this really great pouch. And I think I've shared this before, but sometimes these pouches are a little T harder to get your stamp sets out so if you ever run into that problem just take the backer out and um, slide it in front of the stamps and it'll pop right out so um, anyway that's just a little 
trick for those stamps. You also get three journaling cards that have scriptures on them with the beautiful artwork. I love her little messy bun. So cute. I, I just think, and then on the back there's just some lines so you can do journaling, use these as a tip in, create a pocket with them. I really love the journaling cards. You also get three sheets of stickers. So you get these florals that match the kit. And then along with these, you also get the digitals of these. So don't feel like you're going to you know, run out of these because you can print as many as you want. I always print out extra and print them on clear sticker paper. Uh, for me, that just works really well. It goes, it makes it really easy. So you get the, um, the florals and then you get these kind of watercolor scenes. And then you get a little bit of faux washi and then you get kind of these um, little titles that go along with the things in the kit and you can put these like throughout and on the little polaroids and all that kind of stuff so you also get the alpha stickers um, and the numbers and this is in a that beautiful floral pattern and these are on white um, sticker paper these are not clear so there are um, some alphas that you can get that are clear, but these are the the, um, the white set. And then the last thing is this ephemera pack. And I'm going to go ahead and open it because they did this in kind of two different, um, two different ways. And then there's always a texture. They always include like a texture element. And I have to tell you the texture element this part, this time is probably my favorite thing ever because it is a section of a map, which I just... I love maps and so I'm super excited about this little piece right here I love it and so they kind of um, have two different aspects of the ephemera this time so you have the florals which are really beautiful I'll just kind of go through here really quick so you can see them I have a lot to unbox today so um, I hope this video doesn't get too long <clears throat> excuse me my throat is still just a little bit weird from being sick um, oops, I dropped it. And I love how there's like little tiny ones, but there's also big sprays, which you can do a lot with layering and different things. And then you come to the little like Polaroids and the picture kind of pops out of the Polaroid. It's so cute. So like she's popping out of there. And this is where you could put those stickers from like the washi tape strip page. And so there's little scenes in all of these Polaroids. And they're just beautiful. I just love, I love this color palette that with the, the blues with the kind of mustard yellow. It's just so pretty. And there's really a lot of these in here too. So, and I like this little one. And then that's the last one. So that is all that comes in the kit. Basically everything that you need except for a pin and maybe a stamping block um, is in this kit for you to work through. Um, I know we, we say that a lot, but it, it really is true. Everything you need, and this is the most important part. So however you spend your time, you know, this is always the most important aspect of that. I'm going to put that over to the side. And now I'm going to talk about some of the coordinating items that you can get. One of my favorite things that they've basically been releasing for, you know, several months now are these little flashcards. And this time... They have this beautiful wood grain, which is like almost like a whitewashed um, kind of grayish wood grain. And I love that on the on the front, it's it's kind of wide, and then on the back, the, it's a little bit narrow. You can actually use these for journaling spots. A lot of times, I will use these to write extra notes or even the verse on the back, depending. Um, and it even has a little pretty card that you can use at the back. So the flashcards are great, and they always coordinate with. The scriptures that are in the kit and then the journaling cards this time they kind of change up the style of these every month which I really love but this one that says verse insight and application and then on the back it's just open so you have a lot of room to journal and then you get them in the four colors so you have this beautiful blue and then this kind of mustardy yellow and then this green and then this um, kind of terracotta maybe color I don't know how to it's almost a coral, like a dark coral to me, but I mean, everybody, I'm probably not describing it. I'm not giving it justice, that's for sure, in describing it, but those are the journaling cards. And then there's the labels. 
you always get um, these sheets of them. I think there's five. Yeah, so you have, oh, I can't get it apart. These colors, so you have the floral and then some of the coordinating colors, and there's a dot grid, just a graph, and then some lines. So you have a lot of variety. These make great layering. They make great titles, journaling, extra journaling, scriptures, all kinds of things you can do with those. And then you get the tile alphas. These are one of my favorite things. You also get five colors of these. And there's a lot of letters, repeating letters, so you can do a lot of titles and journaling with these. And a lot of people um, say that they don't like their handwriting or, or whatever, so this these work really well. And there's also numbers down at the bottom. I personally think, you know, your handwriting is part of you, so just embrace it, but that's just, that's just my own personal opinion. Um, anyway, I got off topic. Um, the stickers, these are the clear stickers. Um, there are seven of these. I'm trying to get all of the colors in a variety of colors. And this is that same flower pattern, but this is the clear version. And there is a stamp set called the Outliner Stamp Set in the shop that you can, um, personally I find it easier if you stamp it down first and then drop the letter sticker inside it and it just creates a border and just really makes your your alpha stickers pop. So I'm missing the yellow one, there we go. So these are the seven colors of the alpha stickers. I'm trying to get close to the camera so you can kind of see because like I said, my lighting in here, it's really bad. We're having a very gray kind of day. Um, this month, they also released um, three stencils, and I happened to pick up all of them because I I love stencils. So um, this film strip one is one of my favorites. I really love this one. And then this one kind of has these glasses in kind of like a grid pattern. This one would be great. You can do a lot with this too if you don't want to necessarily focus on the sunglasses it's it's just abstract enough you could do it for like a mixed media background or um, whatever so this is the sunglasses version and then you have the Polaroids and it's meant to look like this and I actually really like it upside down too so um, I I really love the stencils they're always really good quality and you can do a lot with stencils and if you notice all the backers are different so you can save the backers too and you can create labels and tags and all kinds of things out of those. I'm a big fan of saving using packaging. Um, there are always five stamp sets that you can choose and when you get them on the pre-sale you can get a deal on the pricing. So um, if you order one the um, you can get it a stamp for $12 and then I think if you order two or more they um, go down to $10 or normally 15 for a four by six stamp set. So these are the ones that you have the option of picking up. This one is Holy Confidence. It is these beautiful houses, which I love. Really versatile stamp set. This is kind of how they have it in the background. Just, I love the little, the kind of loose watercolor scene. So that is Holy Confidence. This one is Point to the Sky, just kind of, um, some girls and then some glasses and a little Polaroid and again here's just some ideas for how you might uh, color those some florals as always these say are called po positionally blameless and then here's an idea you could do it like just a really loose kind of watercolor around these two and that would be really beautiful this is one of my favorite sets. This is Magnification. I love the Polaroid and the film strip. And Lori made the comment, like, you could totally use this film strip in a way to, like, do your title or however, um, which is such a good idea. I love all things camera and um, film related. And so I really, really love this stamp set. So cute. And you can see how they just did even a loose watercolor on these as well. And then this one is called Our Aim, which again, I, it's got a map. I'm, I love maps, treasure maps, regular maps, it doesn't really matter. And then this hand with the compass, and I love this little X down here too, so cute. So there's an idea for the back. And then they also released uh, two alpha stamps. These, um, you can get 
these are, are not part of like the the deal that you can get when you order the kit but these were released this month as well and there's a six by eight stamp set and a four by six and they're very similar this one is just a little bit more swirly um and i love this one is the four by six and it has little punctuation in it too which i really love and um and you can kind of mix and match these alphas so and it's a really thin alpha so it's not going to take up a whole lot of space so if you're using you know smaller margined bible or whatever um this set would be really good you can still get your title but it's not going to take up as much space because it's a, not a real bold set but this is mega delight and delightful alpha those are available as well and then of course you can always um pick up the traveler's notebooks and they always lately have been doing the two sets this is set one with this the polaroids and this plaid i love this pattern right here and on the inside i don't you probably can't see but there's a little camera on the inside this is set one which i love and then you also have an option I, I went ahead and picked up set two this time as well i love the um the traveler's notebooks from by the will for god the paper quality is amazing you can do so much with it if you've seen any of my videos recently i'm i created basically a junk journal out of one of these and i've done all kinds of things i've collaged into them i've done this paper can take can take quite a bit so i mean it's not you know watercolor paper or whatever but it's still it can take a, a pretty good bit of stuff that you want to throw at it so i really like the traveler's notebook so every once in a while i end up getting both sets because i use them a lot for a lot of different things and then one of my other favorite things and i'm sorry for the packaging noise here i should have taken that out so sorry one of my other favorite things is the paper pad this is a six by eight paper set but you can also get it in six by six if you prefer the smaller size i love their paper quality it's just amazing so these are 20 there's 24 sheets they're double-sided so you get three each of eight designs so i'm just going to flip through these really quick you have the polaroids here and the film strips on the back i can't decide which of these i like better so i i'm i'm not sure how i'm going to use those because i'm going to want to hoard them this one looks like kind of like faux washi strips which i really like with all the different designs and then just this beautiful kind of neutral um, mustard on the back. This has that same um, grid from the stencil with the, the glasses in it and then just a stripe on the back. And this has this kind of line design. Um, they said it kind of reminds you of like trail lines. Um, and to me, um, when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of denim for some reason, like the stitching on denim. I don't know why, but, um, and then blue crosses here on the back. And then there's this beautiful wood grain pattern, which I love. And then on the back, I can't even tell you how much I love the back of this paper. It's, it has a little travel log on there. I could use a pad of just this paper right here. I love it. And then there is the floral and the yellow stripes on the back. I say yellow, it's really like more of a mustard color. It's not a pale yellow, which I really like. Um, and then you have the girls with just another kind of neutral, really good layering pattern right here. Um, and then another favorite of mine are these cameras. I love all the different vintage images on here. And then compass on the back with like the little treasure map lines on there. So that is the pattern paper. Again, you can get this in the six by eight or the six by six. This is the six by eight size. So one other item that they released this month, and I know that they don't have a ton of these available, but they are available right now on the presale is this kind of mega pack of ephemera. And so this is an, an additional ephemera pack that is different to what's in the actual kit. So let me pull these out and you could even use this background. It's got that beautiful floral. And then there is um, an envelope in here. This is like a little glassine envelope. Save your glassine envelopes, or at least I do, because you can use these for pockets or all kinds of things. But inside here, I'm so sorry for the noise, so sorry, are some 
vellum florals. And these are beautiful. They're kind of hard to see. I wish I had something here. I have a little piece of white. Here we go. This will make it easier to see. It's just some white cardstock, but this is, these are vellum pieces. And these are so beautiful. You can see that. I feel like my lighting in here is really just not helping the situation, but, um, and there's just quite a lot of these little vellum pieces, vellum flowers. I really, I like working with vellum, especially like um, have having different layers. It just adds a lot of interest to your pages when you have different kind of layers and textures and things. So that, those are the vellum pieces. And then you also get these cameras. I'm gonna go through here really quickly. I don't know how long this video is getting, but just a lot of different, you can see there's a lot of them in here. So a lot of like vintage cameras, I love that. In the different colors, these have some florals mixed in with them. So cute. I'm not even showing you all of them. I'm just kind of grabbing. And I love that there's like little bitty ones and there's really big ones as well. So just gives you a lot of variety. And I feel like even with just outside of this kit, cameras are something that are really kind of versatile. It's even across Bible journaling, there's so much that talks about your vision or your focus or um, all of those things. And so cameras are just, they're very versatile. And then you have these Polaroids as well, which I love. They're kind of just watercolor um, Polaroids in these different colors. So that is the like the bonus ephemera pack. I love that they did this. I know Lori was saying that this these took just a little bit longer than normal, so they don't have as many of these available. But um, if you get in on the pre-sale, you um, can get those. And then this month they also released some fabric but this month it actually has three colors instead of two. I'm not gonna take this out of the package because I don't want it to get messed up before I start using it, but there's the floral and then the stripe, which I love stripes and florals together. I love that combination. And then there's this kind of dark teal um, pattern with the, um, the glasses. This is the same pattern as that one stencil. So that is available. And then it also released a set of scripture cards this month. And I love the scripture cards. I think they're a great gift. They're great just to kind of have sitting out. Um, they come with two binder rings. And I, f I can't remember how many cards she said are in here. 30, I want to say. Um, I'm just going to flip through a couple of them. But they have the scripture on one side and then they're blank on the other. And so you can create a little tag ring, a little book out of them. Um, I have some, let me see if I think I have, um, here's one that I created a while back. I just used fabric to bind this together into a book. And then I've also used wire rings um, to do it and then like collaged on the, oh, sorry, collaged on the, um, the edge, you know, the, on the other side, you could journal or whatever. Um, so those are just a couple of ideas. These are also great for gifts. And these scriptures also go along with the scriptures that are in the devotional. So you have the binder rings, you could do one, or you could put both of them in there. Um, anyway, I, I really like these. These are a lot of fun to work with. So, and they also come in their own little drawstring bag here. I'm gonna put that to the side. And so I think that's everything that comes in the kit and then like the extra goodies that you can get as well. And then I picked up a couple different things as well because um, if you've done any browsing on the By the Well for God site, um, they have books, they have, they just have all kinds of things on their art supplies and you're supporting a local business and a small business anytime that you do that. So I picked up a couple um, books. I picked up the Red Sea Rules by Robert Morgan. I'm excited for that one. And then I picked up a couple Bible studies. These were just recently added to um, added to the website and there are a few other um, books as well. Um, this one is Hebrews and this one is Abiding in Christ. But um, these are just kind of personal, let me see, show you on the inside, like studies and um, 
I can't remember. I want to say there's like four different ones. There might actually be more than that, but these are available in the site as well. So I just, you know, encourage you to, to peek around the website and see all of the good things that they have there. I will put my affiliate link down below. And if you liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. That just helps other people find my channel. And if you have not already, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And until next time, bye-bye.